This is how we're going to open a YouTube account. So in order for us to have a YouTube account, we need to have a Gmail account. You might already have a Gmail account, so you are going to sign you are going to skip this process, but if you don't, this is how you're going to sign up for Gmail account. You're going to create your Gmail account. Let's just say I'm going to just put in Marie I'm gonna say Mutia. Let's just say that's my name, or let's say Marie Mutia. And you need to have the information here correctly because if not, they are gonna find out if it's really you or not. Anyways, it's Marie Mutia at Gmail. You can put anything in there. So just to make sure you don't have anything the same i just put in there the number so we are going to remember our username or our email because that would become our username all right so that's marie mutia 2020 and the password maybe we'll just say i mean after 2020 all right after 2020 all right we're gonna do next I'm going to save that there so I would not forget. Now you can put in your phone number. So your phone number, if you are in the Philippines, make sure you change that flag over there or wherever you are. Since I'm in the U.S., I'll keep it that way. But I am not going to show you my phone number. So you need a correct phone number because that's where they will give or ask for your recovery number or recovery code. And then you are, they are going to ask you for your birthday and your gender. So if I were you, you will also going to put the correct gender in there and, and birthday because if not, you might not be able to recover it if you forget about things. So might as well put it in there the right information. You click next and then you verify phone number. They are going to send you. The verification code look for it in your phone number I mean in your not in your phone and it would show you the verification number okay we are gonna put in our verification number now in your case it would be different they are gonna send you different verification number then we verify get more from your number for now you can just skip that and then this is the privacy term you can read all that if you want or just go ahead and agree all the way in the bottom and then now you have all of these welcome marie mutia manage your info and everything that's in there now you have your gmail account so let's go grab youtube so you can go to youtube.com in there you need to sign in for you to sign in, remember this. I already have my account there. Miss Wilson's my other account. So I'll sign out just for the purposes of um, purposes of this video. So we'll try again. YouTube and I'll hope it's not going to get into my other accounts now. Alright, sign in. Sign in. Now I have a lot, a lot, a lot in there. <laughs> Let's go to this one. I think this is the one we just made, right? Yep, Marie Mutia. And what password did we put after? 2020. Okay. And then we'll hit next. All right. Now you have your protect your account. Make sure you're not going to tell them your username. I mean, your, yeah, you're not going to tell them the password, anybody your password. So you will not get hacked. So we are going to confirm that. And after you confirm, you now have your YouTube page. You can either change your, your, your picture here and all of that. But the what's important you're going to look into here are your plus signs. So that's where you can upload a video. Remember when you made a video, you can just get started there. Select that one. And you can, if you have a video that's on your phone, you can put that here. If you have a video that is in your Google um, Drive, make sure you put that in. Remember, if you have a video right here in your Google, where is it? Drive. If you have a shared drive in there, no, this is a new one, so I might not have anything there. 
So if you have a video that's in there, make sure you download that and go back in there. Or if we will go to our AFTA account, let's for example, I have my AFTA account already right here. And I will go to my uh, AFTA drive. For example, this is just for an example. Okay, let's see. That's not what I have. Um, use another account. Let's use another account. Um, okay. I have my Bedford account in there and I think this is my password. Yes, all these password, you guys, please make sure you remember all of that or write that down because it would change. Okay, now we are on our after account for example uh, i can save that for example remember this reading lesson part seven that we shared today or this is the one i made so you can either go straight to that one and download that it would come here so when youtube's asking you where you're getting your files from you can do it that way or you can, when this one was open in your Screencastify, remember you had your Screencastify? <laughs> when you had your Screencastify or multiple viewers, you can just download it from there. Right? Do you remember that? Okay, or I'll show you. Where is my, right here, my extensions. Where are my extensions? Okay, hold on a minute. What is going on here? Okay, let's try that again. Let's go to my Screencastify. Remember that one? Okay. So when you remember when we had our Screencastify already, you found your recordings. Okay. So in your recordings right there, for example, that was one of your recording. This is how you can publish it straight to your classroom or publish it to your YouTube. So this is a good way of backing up or if you just want to put it in YouTube, you put that in YouTube. And again, I already told you, you can also put it in private if you don't want anybody to see that video. You can put it in public if you want other people to see that or unlisted if you just want those specific people or emails to send it to that would have your link. So in this case, I guess I'll just put um, unlisted, all right? And you put your lesson there. And now please, what? A channel to publish. Oh, we forgot the channel. Remember the channel that we made? What channel did we make? Yes, we made the Marie Mutia channel, I think. Yes, allow Screencastify access. And straight away, it would go to your Marie Mutia channel. Right there, it's uploading. Now, it is a success. All right. Okay, so when you go back to your YouTube page in there, hopefully, it's not right away. But hopefully, it would just go. There's a lot of things you want to set up later and hopefully you can just customize that one it should be right there to your videos right there see now your video is in there but it's unlisted so that's just how to put in your very first video in your youtube channel or how to for put your video or your screencastify in your google classroom all right, I hope that was easy for you to follow. If you have any questions, email me or send me a message. Thank you.